Good morning, PEA. Welcome back. Hope you had a really good long weekend and got everybody graduated. And uh, I am very happy to have as a guest on the Union Chronicle, our very own CEA president, Carrie Dahlman. And we're here to talk to folks about summer activities. And um, I know that up front, I got to tell you, we've got a third of our members who are registered Republican. And I bet you've been feeling kind of left out of the messages of the recent Union Chronicles. So hang on until the end of this one. We've got something for you. But um, Carrie, Carrie Dahlman, what do you think our members could do to help Carrie Kennedy win the primary? Well, thank you so much for asking that. You know, after uh, education spring like we just had coming off our days of activism and all the work that our uh, members did uh, throughout the legislative session, what we what should be clear to all of our members is how important it is to elect supporters of public education and individuals who don't, don't just support our schools but support uh, workers rights to organize and support the labor movement and so Carrie Kennedy is our endorsed candidate uh, she was endorsed unanimously by members of the fund um, who our uh, locals and units elect to represent us in um, political activities. So we're super excited about Carrie Kennedy. She's been running a great campaign this primary. And we have some association walks scheduled um, to go out and canvas, talk to voters, uh, make sure that they understand how important it is to vote in this year's primary and, and for Kerry Kennedy in this year's Democratic primary. Mm -hmm. um, and what's really great this year is that independent, unaffiliated voters have the ability to vote uh, in one party or the other. This is the but first time both. in Colorado, but not both. You can only return one ballot. And of course we want uh, those individuals to vote for Kerry Kennedy and turn in the Democratic ballot. Um, but here's what you can do. Contact your local association and sign up for their walk for Kerry Kennedy. Oh, darn. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. And those walks, the uh, first one is coming up this coming Saturday, uh, June 2nd, and then the following uh, June 9th, we're, we're gonna meet in our parking lot at the PEA office at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, we'll go out, we'll use minivan, your, uh, you and your buddy, your walking buddy, uh, we'll be back after a couple of hours tops and then we'll have uh, the barbecue going. And oh, barbecue. Barbecue and Ooh. beverages. Well, then maybe I'll come up on uh, well, June 9th. You are welcome. That All would right. be awesome. Fantastic. Uh, well, at any rate, so one of the things you can do is walk for Kerry Kennedy on June 2nd or 9th. You certainly could volunteer through the campaign to help make calls and make sure that voters know um, why Kerry Kennedy is right for Colorado and right for educators and right for our public school students. Right. And uh, we will be uh, phone banking from the office on Tuesday nights. Um, more details about that coming as soon as we iron them out. Fantastic. And getting Kerry Kennedy on the ballot uh, for November is task number one. And right along with that as uh, also task number one. Increasing is, funding for our schools? How do we do that? Well, we <laughs> have the opportunity to get Initiative 93 on the ballot, um, which will raise $1.6 million annually for our public schools. And it does that um, by not raising taxes on 92% of Colorado tax filers, which is great. It's very likely you and I will see no increase in our taxes. Not a chance. But by voting for it, we can raise a lot of money for our public schools. So Initiative 93 will raise money for our public schools, which we now are terribly underfunded, over $7 billion underfunded over the last nine years now. Um, up. It is adding up. And so what we'd love for you to do is if you have a petition, get it turned back in. That's job number one. Even if you have 10 signatures on it, get it turned right. in because we're pushing up against the deadline to turn in the signatures in order to make the ballot. If you haven't gotten a petition yet, check one out. Because of um, Amendment 71, which was passed last year, the campaign has to collect so many signatures in every Senate district. And so we have a lot more signatures to gather. So really help with this campaign, make a difference. Uh, we really think the way that this ballot issue is structured and that very few Coloradans would see an increase in their mm -hmm. taxes, that it has a real shot of passing. And if we're going to adequately fund our schools, then we have to do all we can to get Initiative 93 on the ballot. Right. So if you're carrying a petition, 
as Gary said, even if it's got a few signatures on it, bring it by the office. Um, I can notarize it, Susie can notarize it, and we'll get it turned in for you. And then uh, what message do we have for our registered Republican members? Well, certainly our registered Republican members can um, engage in a deep level in support of Initiative 93, but one of the things that I've long thought um, is our best spokespeople in um, uh, advocating for our issues over the state capitol, uh, particularly with the Republican elected officials, are our very own Republican members. Mm -hmm. um, and we know that our Republican members, they support public education, they support a quality education for every child, uh, and they're interested in our schools being adequately funded. And so, you know, I really hope that uh, you, Tom, really think with your leadership team about how best to engage those Republican members mm -hmm. and um, have them or help them create dialogues with our elected representatives over at the state legislature. You know, it's unfortunate that education has become such a partisan issue. It has no business as a partisan issue, and I think if uh, we organizationally can engage our Republican members um, in, in a more strategic way, that maybe we can turn that around and, and make, mm -hmm. make it possible so that members of both political parties can support our kids. Wouldn't that be refreshing? It would be phenomenal. Because we know that not all the members of the Democratic Party across the street at the Capitol are our friends, and not all the Republicans are our enemies. So we need to work together to build these bridges. It's, um, it's the time in our nation's history when we need to get back to doing that. Absolutely. Well, Carrie, thank you for joining us today. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for your years of leadership at CEA. We are a much better organization for it. And I thank you. Thank you, Tom. It's been a pleasure serving with you. Bye, all.